They must have had. Whoa, chill, bro. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This time it is of a 3D print that I did. I believe I reviewed this Deadpool on the channel already. I, if I did, I'll put a link. Uh, I'll put a card up right now. If I didn't, I don't really want to go over it, but uh, I'm just, <laughs> I just want to go over the 3D printed head right now. Um, I did a run. I didn't do a run, but I printed this Deadpool head. I was trying to paint it up and I was, I put a wash on it just to bring out the details and I don't know what happened, but the wash ended up grabbing into the paint and I was going to rub it off and the wash peeled. Matter of fact, I have pictures on my Instagram. I just put pictures up. The wash, the paint peeled off the three layers of paint I put on black, white, and I don't know why I did black and white, but black, white, and red, they all peeled off. And I was left with this. So in order to fix that, um, I, I guess I was just going to go battle damage, you know, old customizers trick. An old, damn, I did a lot of blue tech. An old customizer's trick is if it breaks or you mess it up, it's battle damage. So I just made it look like his, his mask was uh, not melted, but uh, let me get this tack out of here. I just made it look like his mask was ripped off or whatever. Get that out of here because I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on another thing right now so you can take a look at it. A better look at it. I need to hot glue that instead of blue tacking it. I don't really like doing leaving blue tack in like that, but should be able to see it. But yeah, it's a little battle damage. Uh, it's for the, it fits Mezco, but I have a Marvel Legends size I could run to. Um, I really like this this uh, this head. It really looks good on a Mezco. It's crazy. That's why I want to get a regular one painted, and it came out really dirty too. So let me put these up. It came out really dirty too, so I wanted to. Um, I guess battle damage was the way to go. Get on camera with that. Let me see. Is it focused? Let me get some light down here. Can you see it better? Is it washed out? It's pretty washed out. I don't know what to do about my lighting situation. Every time I do a video or a review, my lighting is terrible. But yeah, just a battle damage mess called Wade Head. Um, Deadpool. I don't know why I keep saying Wade, even though his name is Wade. The reds don't exactly match. Um, I'm not a professional paint matcher. But if you've never seen this figure or you're new to the channel, um, Marvel Legends boots across the, the, the swords on the back. And what else did I do? I, I believe I fixed. If you have this Mezco Deadpool, these these parts right here are pretty known for breakage because they what they do is they bend with the figure on the original figure. They bend. They have a, a mushroom peg and they bend with the figure, but they eventually break if you do use it too much. And one of mine broke. So I modified mine. I I, uh, I just snipped off the pegs and I super glued them together. So now they just don't. They don't bend with it. But if you can see, they don't need to. So just a little modification I did. I didn't modify. I usually take off the suits and modify my mesco articulation. But with this one, one I had already glued this harness. It's not glued to the body, but it's, this harness is all glued together right here. So I didn't want to redo my. I didn't want to redo it. So damn, did I lose the? I lost the sword. I thought it broke. It's usually broke, but I guess I lost it. I must have put it up somewhere. Damn, I lost my whole train of thought thinking about the damn sword. But yeah, um, I just wanted to show the head. The head looks really good on his body. Let me back up a little bit. Head looks really good on his body. Um, I really like the way this came out. I got the head off Thingiverse. I don't know who uh, created it. I took it off a bust. So I don't know who created it, but I like it on my figure. So I really like it. Like I said in the previous video, um, I've been really into 3D printing, so I've been 3D printing a lot of stuff. Like, I could literally pull out, let me see, wrong drawer. I could literally pull out tons and tons of 3D prints. I just went 3D printing everything, so that's just what I've been on for the last few months is just 3D printing, and this robot head's pretty sick, too. But, yeah, i just been 3D printing everything, so uh, I saw this bus, and I really wanted to see what it looked like on a Mezco Deadpool, and it looks it looks excellent. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this one. Just a simple head cast or a 3D printed head. I don't even know. Can I compare it? Let me see. Yes, I can. Let's do a comparison, actually. And if you made it this far in the video, like, comment, subscribe. 
Likes, comments really help out the channel. They really help. They bring more eyes to the channel, more people see it. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you can. You know, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you are. Reddit, wherever you want to share. Just put the video up and we'll see what it, what happens. But here's a comparison. Let me put it actually on this paint bottle so I don't have my, my fingers in the way. Here's a comparison of the two heads. Can I get any? I don't want to put them in a weird pose, but... There's a slight comparison to two heads. The Mezco one's a little thinner. The red's a little brighter. But like I said, I put a wash on this one, so it kind of it kind of dulled down that red a bit. But I just really like the way the mask is is pulled on the on the mouth and the eyebrows on this one. I like the dip is higher on this one than the Mezco one. I just really liked it. I really like the differences. So I wanted to get one printed and, and see what it looked like on the figure. But yeah. Um, that's all I got for this one. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, share this video and thanks for watching.